The next day at school, everyone but Daniel was occupied in preparations for the Halloween dance. He avoided Allie. In the evening, he dropped in at Mr. Miyagi's workshop. Ah, oh, Daniel, son. Happy Halloween. How's school today? Big party tonight, huh? What's the matter? You're not going? No. How come? I'm not into dancing that much. I don't feel like it anyway. Ah, Daniel, son. You too much by yourself. Not good. I'm not by myself. I'm with you. To make honey, young bee need young flower, not old prune. I haven't got a costume anyway. You have costume, you go. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if I went as the invisible man. Invisible man? Yeah, you know, so nobody will see me. <laughs> Daniel went to the Halloween party completely hidden inside a shower curtain. But Allie knew it must be him and joined him behind his screen. Hey, I've never danced in a shower before. A friend of mine made it for me. Isn't it great? So where have you been hiding? No, I haven't been hiding. I haven't seen you around. Have you been looking? Sort of. Sort of? I thought maybe you're still angry with me. Why? Well, because of what I said last time I saw you. Oh, uh, now, I've been thinking a lot about that. No, I know. But I should really just learn to mind my own business. No, I think you're right. About facing up to things. I just kind of forgot for a while. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. It's just that he thinks he can do whatever he wants to people. Who? Johnny. I'd love to see him get a dose of his own medicine. Well, you know, it goes around. It goes around. Mmm. I'd love to be there when it does. Me too. Say, do you want to go outside? <laughs> you talked me into it. Daniel drew back his shower curtain and was hit by an egg thrown by someone dressed as a chicken. He had to go to the washroom to clean up. There he saw Johnny go into one of the toilets for a secret smoke. He rigged up a hose pipe and drenched Johnny with water. Hey! Hey, what? Johnny was furious, and he and the rest of the Cobras, all dressed as skeletons, chased Daniel out of the hall. They cornered him against a fence and all pitched into him using their vicious karate techniques. Daniel was helpless on the ground, but they still kept at him when, with a cry, Mr. Miyagi leapt the fence and laid about him. His karate was so good that although the Cobras outnumbered him, they fled leaving him to carry Daniel back to his house to patch up his bruises. Daniel came to and tried to remove the damp cloth on his forehead. Miyagi stopped him. Leave one. It stinks. What is it? Smell bad. Heal good. Uh, how come you didn't tell me that you do karate? You didn't ask. Where'd you learn it from? Father. I thought he was a fisherman. In Okinawa, all Miyagi know two things, fish and karate. Karate come from China, 16th century, called te, hand. Much later, Miyagi ancestor called karate, empty hand. I always thought it came from Buddhist temples and stuff like that. You see too much TV. <laughs> That's what my mother tells me. Hey, have you ever taught anyone? No. Well, would you? It depends. On what? Reason. As revenge? Danielson, you look revenge. That way start by digging two grave. <laughs> well, at least I have company, right? Fighting always last answer to problem. 
Your friend, old karate student, eh? That problem. No. Problem is, getting my ass kicked every other day. That's the problem. <laughs> because boys have bad attitude. Karate for defense only. That's not what these guys are taught. I can see. No such thing as bad student, only bad teacher. Teachers say, student do. Oh, great. That solves everything for me. I just go down to the school and straighten it out with the teacher. No problem. Now, use head for something other than target. I, I was only kidding about that. Why kidding? Because I get killed if I show up there. Get killed anyway. Would you go with me? No, can. Why? You said it was a good idea, right? For you, good idea. For me, good idea. No get involved. Oh, thanks for nothing then, man. Daniel-san. What? Okay, I go. Oh, excellent, Miss Miyagi. That's just great. Say, what kind of belt do you have? Canvas, you like. In Okinawa, belt mean no need rope to hold up pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's great. Daniel-san, karate here in head, here in heart, never here in stomach. You understand? I think so. Good night, Daniel-san. Good night, Miss Miyagi. Tomorrow morning? Ten o'clock. The next morning, Mr. Miyagi and Daniel went to the karate school. They heard the sensei addressing the class. We do not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street, in competition, a man confronts you. He is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. He noticed Daniel and Miyagi. Class, we have visitors. What are you here for, old man? Come ask, leave boy alone. What's the matter? The boy can't take care of his own problems? One to one problem, yes. Five to one problem, far too much, ask anyone. Is that what's bothering you, the odds? Well, we can fix that. No more fighting. This is a karate dojo, not a knitting class. You don't come into my dojo and drop a challenge and leave, old man. Too much advantage. Your dojo. Name a place. Tournament. Ha! You got real nerve, old man. But I think we can accommodate you. Ask one more small request. Ask... Leave boy alone to train. All right. No one touches the prima donna until the tournament. But if he don't show up, then it's open season on him and you. In the street outside, Daniel is amazed. I can't believe this! What you've got me into? You said you were gonna make things better for me. Miyagi smiled. I did. I just saved you two months of beating. Two months to teach you real karate.